Hi, my name is Cam Smith with ISN reporting for the weekend of September the 7th. Thank you for tuning in. The Allen Football League's fall season kicks off this weekend with Pee Wee and Junior Bantam action in Victoria and Cowichan. First up, we head to Copley Field where the Pee Wee Victoria Renegades hosted the Victoria Spartans and these two well-coached teams. These young athletes have been chomping at the bit all summer to strap on the pads and get after it in this much anticipated matchup. The Spartans would dip into their bag of tricks early with an onside kick to Mikhail Orr would yeah, track down yeah. and recover giving the Spartans the ball. And on the ensuing drive with Colton Douglas under center for the Spartans, he would take the ball and big pressure from the Victoria Renegades, he would put it up and Joshua counted with a beautiful pick, bringing it back for 10 yards. That's first down Renegades. And with the Victoria Renegades set up in shotgun formation, Blake Ruther would call for the snap. It's a good one, but Mikhail Orr shot out of a cannon. This knocks him down, disrupts his play. Beautiful play. There's some nice plays in this game. It's a seesaw battle, two defensive teams. Mateus coming out of the backfield. He'd come out looking for the edge on the left, but Nigel and Bennett would stand him up, but not before he gets a first down. Douglas under center again. He would take the snap, but he's gonna survey the field. He's gonna pull it in, he's gonna run the ball, but Blake Ruther tracks him down. He slams him to the ground. That's a nice tackle from behind. And the Spartans would continue to drive. This time they give the ball to Mikhail. He was got quick feet, folks, but stood up by Nigel once again. This kid's got game. But well, Mikhail Orr would flip the script on this play. He's coming on a linebacker blitz, and he would take down Cowden. He'd take him down for the loss. That's a great play. And on the next play, there seems to be a little bit of confusion in the backfield. But I don't think that really matters because they hand this ball off to Nigel. He is going down the field. He's going strong. He hits the edge. He's going all the way. Parent on the sideline going nuts. Jake the ref. Like, look at him. He's going to catch him. No, he's not. And there he goes, Nigel, all the way into the end zone. But no, that is call back. Check this one out again. There, it looks to be a procedure call, possibly. There's a laundry thrown right there. And I'll tell you, that was a great run by Nigel. Well, that's football, folks, and this one is called back. This was a tight game. It went deep into the fourth quarter. Six to six was the final. Watch for these two teams later on in the season. I'm sure they're gonna meet up again. Next up, we have Junior Bantam action where last year's provincial finalists, the Victoria Renegades, are gonna take on a tough Victoria Spartans team in this opening Junior Bantam tilt. Victoria Spartans with the ball first. Silas Douglas takes a snap. Fake fly sweep over to Carter Williams. Dylan Gilbert takes it out of the backfield. This is a man child. He's going in for the touchdown. And trust me, he scores, but we got a blonde head of hair right in front of us. Blocking out that view. It's a nice view, but Dylan Gilbert did score on the play. And on the next Spartan series, Silas Douglas would roll out. He throws a nice touch to Gilbert. That is a fine play. This kid's got an arm, and that is a nice catch by Gilbert. 14 0 Spartans. And the Spartans would go for an onside kick, and Carter Williams would time this perfectly, pick it up. But you do not want this kid in space. He sees the field well, and when he's off, he is gone. And today, he is gone. That is 21 0 with a conversion for these Spartans on top of the Renegades very early in the game. And still 21-0 in the second quarter. Gilbert would take the ball again, big stiff arm. That would turn him around though, but he's got blockers out in front. Gilbert looking to take it to the outside. He sees Pater and he just throws the shoulder down. That's a big one, he does it again. That man, that's a 13-year-old young man, six foot one, paying dividends today for this Spartans club. Spartans up 28-0. Silas Douglas decides to go to the air. That's Carter out of the backfield. Mr. Williams in for the touchdown. That's another fine play by this Spartans group. Puts them up 36 to nothing. And on the Renegades next series, there's a bad snap right over the head of Mateo Scott. And Logan picks this up. This young man runs in for the touchdown. That's a heads-up play for this first-year junior bantam. 
and Douglas, he'd be at it again. He's looking to throw this one up, but not this time. Max Teradash, he's right there. He picks this up. That's a bright spot of the day for this Renegades team. But soon after, the victorious Spartans with a nice toss by Douglas to Carter Williams just would turn on the Jets again. He's in for the touchdown. This is a 48 to nothing blow to this strong Renegades team. Look for them to put a better effort in next week against the West Shore Warriors. But you gotta tip your hat to this victorious Spartans team. They played a great game, good game plan. They distributed the ball well. 48 to nothing final, victorious Spartans. And we head up to Duncan in McAdam Park where the hometown Cowich and Bulldogs are taking on the Pee Wee West Shore Warriors. Quarterback Jacob Hansen, he has scored for these Warriors, putting them up 8 0. And with the Warriors pressing again, Jacob Hansen, he would take the ball, run it right up the gut. This kid is a tough quarterback. This is a nice play. That's a nice tackle on a play by the Bulldogs. And on the very next play, Danny Garcia, he'd get the ball and he wouldn't disappoint. He is in for the major. This young man coming up from Adam and is making his debut in Pee Wee. He was a scorer machine down in Adam. It doesn't seem to make a difference up here. And the Warriors are in the red zone again. Jacob Hansen, he would take the ball. He would come back. This kid's got a strong arm. He puts it up on Micah. Micah Kendrick picks that ball off. This kid has got wheels. He's all over the field. That's a great play, Micah. This strong West Shore Warriors team is pressing again. Nice run by this young man, but Micah Kendrick, blazing speed, comes out of nowhere, textbook tackle. That's a great play. And with Jacob Hansen under center, he would hand it off to Danny Garcia. This young man, he is dangerous, and he is hit for pay dirt. That makes it 28 to nothing for the West Shore Warriors. Danny Garcia doing it again. That's a great game by both these teams. Very well played, 28 to not to make it a final, put that one in the books. And West Shore Warriors play next week against the Renegades at home at Gowdy. And next up, we've got the Junior Banta matchup. These Bulldogs, they're coming off of an Island Championship in the spring and an Island Championship last fall. We get this one underway, West Shore driving the ball. But this defense of the couch and Bulldogs, Pat McCray, Stuffs it right up the middle, flexing his muscles. And on the next series, the West Shore Warriors have the ball. Andrew Avila passes it over to Austin Perry. Austin Perry tippy toying up the sidelines. This kid is going to take it to the house. He is going all the way. That is a great run, folks. And that puts the Warriors up early, 8 to nothing. And then in the second quarter, Angelo Avila under center. He takes the ball. He takes it to the outside. This is a great move inside, outside. He goes down right by the pylon. That's going to be in for the major. That's going to make it 16 to nothing for this strong West Shore Warriors club. And Avila would be at it again. He's kind of got the same move in and out. He's like a grease pig. Nobody can get this kid. He just flies right through. He's in for the major again. That makes it 20 to nothing in this shocker for the Warriors. But this couch and Bulldog team, they never say die. Here he goes, Brad McCray, the big man. He is in for the touchdown. Gotta love that. Isaac coming in for a little bit of celebration. They're on the board now. That makes it 22 to eight, Warriors. And then on the next play, the next try with Warriors in command. Avila, a little trickery here. This is a big bomb thrown right to Austin Perry. Perry's got the ball. You are not going to stop him. He is going all the way. That is a fun play. It's good to see Warriors in command again. And Cowichan driving 30 to 8 for West Shore. And look out, Brandon Byron, this first year junior pat him. He's getting in on the action. That's a beautiful pick right there. And you gotta love this play by Cowichan's Bradley McCray. This is old school football, taking it right up the gut. This kid's running hard. He's all heart club right here. He's got Warriors hanging all over him. He just keeps driving. That is old school and that is some good football, folks. 
and the West Shore Warriors. They're just not done yet. They put it up in the air again. And who's there but Austin Perry? You put him out in open space, and he's going to make you pay. Even if you're on him, he's chucking you off left and right. This kid has got drive. This is fun to watch. He's going all the way down. That's his third touchdown of the game. You got to love it when a kid comes up from Pee Wee, dominates in Pee Wee, and in his first game in Junior Bantam, he lays three touchdowns on the board, and he also continues to run. There is no quit in this kid. He will continue to run and continue to punish people along the way. He's fun to watch, and I'm looking forward to watching this kid play the rest of the season. Warriors run away with this one, 38-8. Make that a final. That's a great start to the season for this team. You got to give it up for this tough Cowich and Bulldog team. They played hard, and they always do. You'll see them later on in this season. But right now, we're going to catch up with Austin Perry of the West Shore Warriors on his debut in Junior Banner Football. Well, there's like a lot of bigger kids, and it's kind of harder to like get touchdowns and stuff. Um, uh, next week, you got Renegades. Uh, you get prepared for a week. Um, what do you what do you think about that? Getting back oh, I think it might be a bit like, a bit hard because they're like a, a lot of like bigger and strong kids. That's an awesome start to the season in the Island Football League. Some great games. I look forward to seeing everybody next week at Gowdy Field. My name is Cam Smith with ISN. Thank you for tuning in, and we will see you on the field.